와, 와, 와. 음. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today we have the super fancy backpack from Leather Back Gear. It is a backpack with a secret. Actually, it has three secrets, but I'm gonna wait till you get to the end before I tell you the three secrets. All right, quick history on Leatherback Gear before we start. They were started by two brothers with a law enforcement first responder background. They wanted to make simple but high quality gear. If God forbid you are ever in, your, in a situation, a dangerous shooting, whatever, to help you get home safe. Currently Leatherback Gear has four different backpacks. This is their biggest logical tactical model. It is called the Tactical One and these are the dimensions of it. The next one down is called the Civilian One, a little bit smaller and definitely uh, gray man S. Doesn't look very tactical if that's something you prefer. Next one down is the Sport One, again a little smaller. And then the Sport One Junior which would be great for a kiddo or someone really small statue. Now before we get into the specifics on this bag, we do have a channel sponsor and I'm going to be very very quick it's called bullet safe bullet safe makes soft body armor low profile soft body armor that is made here in the States it is very concealable very discreet very very lightweight um, it's they claim that it's much thinner and lighter than other companies who make soft body armor as well the things I really like again guys it's made in the United States it's still a very very high value you get uh, 3a protection um, which will stop stop up to a 44 Magnum so pretty much all handgun rounds and it comes in less than $300 and that's a very very good deal for something that's made here in the States uh, light thin uh, and it's NIJ certified. That was the other big thing. A lot of the armor you see out there is not N NIJ certified, and this one is. So hopefully, once again, I can get my hands on one to do some testing, not only to, to make sure it's as comfortable as they say, and lightweight and high quality, um, and I do want to wear it around, but I also want to see if it can stop everything that it claims it can stop, to make sure your protection is there all the way up to a 44 Magnum. So real quick, there is a discount code. It is Tiberius10. You see it on the screen, don't spell it wrong. My name's tough to spend. spell, Tiberius and then the number 10. If you wanna pick anything up from Bullet Safe, please do me that favor, hook me up, use that code, and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. All right, I hope you stuck with me. If you did, thank you very much. Let's get into the features of the bag. So the material first, the material is a 1000D polyester, and then it's also coated uh, with a, a the surface is coated to be water resistant. So if you're out in the rain, you should be fine. May not be good for you Navy SEALs underwater. We're gonna start at the front and then we'll work our way to the back. Of course, you see here, it has some Velcro, some hook and loop. So if you wanna be cool and rock, and rock your Roscoe patches, you can do so. Uh, right here on the top, it has a very, very small pouch. This small pouch, I typically keep keys, my beard comb, my business card. Uh, really, really small things like that. Uh, the larger pocket down here is, um, man, you're gonna hear this a lot, that this bag has pockets on pockets on pockets. You could fit so much in this bag if you want to. It's gonna get heavy if you do, because it's a big bag. But you have a mesh line pocket right here in the front. On the back of this pocket, you have all the little storage containers for your smaller items, pens, pencils, flashlights, business cards, whatever you wanna keep in here you can do so. I usually keep some gummy bears in here and then uh, my flashlight and some basic med gear as well. Now, um, the one thing I want to call out, all the zippers are really, really smooth. I don't know the name or the brand of them, but it doesn't really matter. They're very, very smooth and they don't get snagged. And I think that's something important in here. Um, this bag also has two really large zipper compartments, one in the front and one in the back. Now this front one here only unzips halfway just so you know. And then it has three separate compartments in here and you can fit up to a 17 inch laptop. Again, big bag for big storage. Uh, the back pocket here is felt lined. So if you have something again, like a laptop or an iPad, you can keep it in there. Files, paperwork, I don't know what you need to keep in there, but there is a ton of stuff you could put in there if you need to. In the middle here, you see this red zipper and that is part of the super secret squirrel stuff that I'm not telling you about. You're gonna have to wait <laughs> for another minute. Uh, this back pouch here 
is the second compartment and uh, this one unzips all the way down the bottom and then the bag will butterfly open again on the back compartment you have a very large pouch that velcro uh, that has a flap over it would be ideal for a laptop or something like that and then inside this one you have two big pockets one is enclosed I keep some gloves and an IFAC in here on the top one I keep uh, my uh, my hard drives and my cords and that type of stuff all right let's move on to the back of the bag let me just zipper this bad boy up the straps here there we go um the straps here are very very nice they're padded they are obviously adjustable it has the cross um cross brace as well to help absorb some of that weight on the back of the bag it has the strap if you are traveling and you have it on a suitcase you hook this onto your suitcase and it stays in place now i'm going to tell you one of the three secrets now just because I love you. The back, uh, the bottom of the back is this is a little normally a little pad for your lower back, but if you look close, there's a zipper and it opens up and it's an RFID pocket. So if you want to stick your wallet in here or a credit card or even a backup credit card, whatever you want, it's a nice hidden storage compartment that no one's gonna see that is RFID protected. Also, before I forget, the bottom does have drain holes. I can't imagine what you're gonna be doing while you need drain holes in your bag. But uh, man, this thing is just beefy and I think it's gonna last a very, very long time. On the top, the one, the two things I forgot, it has a very, very small pocket with a very, very nice soft felt lining. Uh, that's gonna be good for anything delicate like um, a pair of sunglasses maybe. I think sunglasses would make the most sense, but anything delicate in there, uh, you'll be good to go. Now this uh, drag handle, the drag handle uh, is double stitch sewn. Again, just like everything else, seems very, beefy on here and they say it can drag up to somebody up to 300 pounds i didn't test that for you guys i'm sorry maybe i maybe i will now all right the part that everybody is waiting for let's get into the real super secret squirrel stuff that i can't say you get this zipper with the the red pull tab you unzip it and the bag breaks in half and now inside both this front and rear it has two more pouches again pouches upon pouches upon pouches and then when you break the bag in half you put it over your head and now it works uh, similar to a plate carrier where you have front and rear protection there's plenty of other backpacks out there that only give you uh, front protection or only rear protection but because this bag breaks in half you put it over your head you pull tight on the zip uh, the uh, the adjustment uh, adjustments on the side there excuse me and uh, now you kind of have front and rear protection and the thing I really like is even when it's over your head and you have front and rear protections you still have access to all of the front pockets so if you have magazines in there or med gear or whatever else you need in there whatever whatever else you're into you can still easily get access to all of that stuff and the third and final super secret thing about this uh, these pull tabs here if you need it these can in a pinch work as a backup tourniquet I still highly recommend you keep a dedicated tourniquet something high quality like a cat tourniquet but it is a backup tourniquet if you need it both of these can be undone and uh, and used as a tourniquet so again inside you have both pouches for armor which I do have armor in here right now uh, on the bottom you have two more little pockets in here and then another spot to fill out your name cell phone emergency contact all your information if you want to make sure you can get in there the um, the, the armor now uh, leatherback air cells 3 3a and level 4 armor and you have all different choices and so you can buy this bag without the armor or you can buy the bag with any of those three whatever you want to do if you buy the bag without the armor it's going to come in at 199 which seems to be about an average price for a high quality backpack um even more so if this one splits in half I don't think it's too bad. If you're going to get armor, it starts at $3.99 for two panels. Obviously, you want front and rear protection. That's the whole point of this bag. It's 3.8 pounds without any armor. And then the armor is going to add between 1 to 5 pounds, depending on which one you go with. If you go with the level 4, those are great stopping power, but they're very, very heavy uh, plates. Whew, I talked a lot. We're almost done. Stay with me again. Um, I want to talk the testing that I've done real quick, pros, cons, and then you can get out of here. So I've had this bag for about a month and uh, I just use it every single day like I normally would as a backpack. I brought it back and forth to, to work every single day. My laptop in there, my mouse, the power cord, all my essential power gear, plugs, and 
all the normal stuff. Gummy bears, of course, and I just brought it back and forth to work every single day. I also did take it on one trip with me, and again, these are TSA approved. Not only the bag and the armor, any soft armor is TSA approved. So at least if I can't have a firearm with me when I'm traveling, at least I can have some soft armor on my body and hopefully <laughs> not have extra holes put in me. Um, and it's been good. I had no problems, no issues, no concerns, nothing to report. The only thing I didn't think I said, and it's kind of obvious, is the front panel here does have some molly. If you want to add extra pouches, that molly is carried over onto the side and even on the strap. So if you want to add whatever, a holster of some kind, a knife, a bag, a pouch, whatever, you can do so. All right. Pros, cons, and then you can leave. You can't leave yet. The biggest pro is obviously going to be how it gives you front and rear protection. Any bag can give you front protection, but this gives you both. And I've never been shot, but I'm going to guess that being shot in the front sucks just as much as being shot in the back. Maybe shot in the back even worse. I don't know. But either way, I don't want to find out. It's high quality. It's large enough to be a go bag, to have firearm, ammo, med gear, survival gear, a get home bag. Whatever this bag because of the size can be used for pretty much everything if you don't want a really big bag like this um, Then again, they have three different smaller ones whatever works for you in your lifestyle tons of pockets I love the three super secrets especially the RFID pocket TSA approved including the armor all good stuff Don't really have a con just two things to make you aware of this particular one does not have a water bottle holder on the side uh, There are other ones do so that's not a con. It's just again. This is a tactical get home bag, not an everyday carry type bag. So I just wanted to make sure you were aware of that. And two, anytime you buy any big bag like this, if you're like me, you're gonna tend to overload it. So if you get this big bag, go easy. Cause I put so much stuff in here cause it was so big and then it was kinda on the heavy side. So either go easy on what you put in here um, or get a small, one of their smaller bags or I think this would be ideal Overall, I think this would be ideal for a bag to keep in the car, a get home bag, an emergency bag, any of those type of bags. You can put a small firearm in here. Uh, I put a 10 and a half inch AR pistol with a law tactical folder. It fit in here, no problem. I had a 12 and a half inch with the folder and it was really close, but the muzzle stuck out. Maybe if you angled it a little bit, you might be okay. Is my light getting weird here? Yeah, my light's getting weird here. It might be okay, but that's the size of the bags. It will fit in there. All right, I think I went through everything. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, as always, let me know, drop them down in the comment. A really big thank you to Leatherback Gear for supporting this small channel here. For them to send out four or $500 bag with the armor is greatly, greatly appreciated. I also wanna thank the sponsor of today's video. Again, it is Bullet Safe. Uh, what, what appears to be very high quality soft armor at a very, very good price made in the States, NIJ certified. The code is Tiberius10. If you want to pick anything up, please use that code, save yourself, help me. And uh, hopefully I can get one so we can see if they are as high, high quality as the company thinks they are. All right, I am done talking and talking and talking. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you think I deserve it, please do all of those things that everybody asks you to do in all of the videos. Like the video, comment, subscribe, enable the bell notifications. If you do any of those things, I greatly appreciate it and no doubt it absolutely helps me out. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.